girls and boys. It's so good to see all of you, and I'm so happy to be here. And I have my grandson, Charlie, with me today to help. So, Charlie, you know that the Bible is divided into two parts, right? We have the Old Testament, and we have the New Testament. And the Old Testament was written, remember it was written about, remember before, Jesus was born. Right, and the New Testament was written after right. Jesus was born. Right, good job. And remember when we started talking about, um, we started our Sunday school lessons with Genesis and with talking about the creation and how God made the earth and the animals and all the people. And then he made the people named Adam and Eve. And do you remember how they were tempted? How were they tempted? How was Eve tempted first? She took fruit from a tree that she wasn't supposed to. Right, she took fruit from a tree that she wasn't supposed to. She was tempted and she gave into that temptation. Well, God just became so sad because then all the people started making poor choices. And did you ever have anybody say that you made a poor choice? No, that's a good thing. Poor choices sometimes like, for example, maybe you took, ate some candy before dinner and didn't tell mommy or something. <laughs> that would not be a good choice. Well, that, these people were making poor choices, and God was becoming so sad. And there's only one person who pleased God. Do you remember who that person was? Who? Noah. Noah, right. You want to hold up Noah? And so God was very pleased with Noah, and he told Noah that he had a very special job for him. And what was that job? He told him to build an ark. He told him to build an ark, a very huge, huge boat. And God promised, he and then he told Noah to take his family. And, and what else was he supposed to take into the ark? One of every kind of animal. Actually, how many? Two. Two, right, two of every animal. And um, he was supposed to take enough food to feed everybody. And God promised that he would keep Noah and his family and all these animals that he took in, he promised that he would keep them safe. Okay, so we're gonna talk about building the boat. Do you wanna get the sticks? And we're gonna hear a lot of hammering and boys and girls at home, you could clap your hands. So God tells Noah that a flood is coming and God is not happy with people. God tells Noah to build a boat. God tells Noah to build a big boat. And God tells Noah to build a really big boat. God tells Noah to build it out of wood. God tells Noah to build it strong to keep the water out. And God tells Noah that it should have lots of room for all the animals. And God tells Noah to build a few rooms for his family. And God tells Noah to bring animals enough food for a long time. Okay, thanks, Charlie. So now that you've heard that the ark is being built, let's take a look at it. Can you hold that up for everybody to see? So we're going to add onto our ark. First, do we have Noah? Pull that off. Put Noah on, show everybody Noah. Mm -hmm. Hold it up. Okay, so we have Noah. And we're going to add two giraffes. Job. And then we're going to add the turtles. We just have some of the animals, right, Charlie? We don't have all the animals. There will be lots more. There would be a lot more, wouldn't it? It's okay, it'll stick, I think. You don't have And 
to get two pigs. And two hippos. Oh, and last but not least, we have two sheep. And so after all the animals and Noah and his family are on the boat, what happened? Can you show that to everybody? What happened after everybody was on board? The rain started. Right. It started to rain and it just poured for 40 days and 40 nights. Wait, put that on last. 40 days and 40 nights and the water lifted up the boat. And what happened to everybody on the boat? Can we show them? We sway back and forth. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was a rocky boat, wasn't it? Yes, it was so rocky. And it rained and rained and rained and back and forth and back and forth. And finally, finally it stopped. And what did Noah send outside then? What is that? A dove. Right. So the first time he sent the dove out, the dove came right back. The second time he sent the dove out, the dove came back with a branch in its beak from an olive tree. And then another week later, Noah sent the dove out again, and this time the dove didn't come back. And that meant that the dove was able to find dry land and, find it and make a nest. So Noah felt that it was safe to come out of the boat. And God told him that he was safe and that it was time to come out. So, what do you think the first thing was that Noah did? He built his ark. After he built his ark and after he came out, after it rained and everything, what happened? He built an altar. He built an altar, right. Good job. He built an altar to praise and thank God for keeping him safe and keeping all the animals safe, right? So we're going to put one last thing on. Two last things. Two last things. right there. It won't go because of the turtles. Oh, is it going to cover up the turtles? Yeah. Well, that's okay. Okay. We'll just keep the turtles snug inside the boat. And the next last, what he kept his promise and he put what in the sky then? A rainbow. And the rainbow is a sign that God always keeps his promises. We have some clouds. And we have some clouds to add to, right. Let's just put one cloud on for okay. now, okay? Can you read this? What's this? I'm not sure what that piece is, but do you want to read this for the boys and girls? Two by two. Two by two into the ark, the, the animals did go. Forty days, the, the rain came down to flood the earth below. Inside, they stayed until the day God said, that they could go. God always keeps his promises, for the Bible tells us so. Good job, Charlie. Thank you. God always keeps his promises, doesn't he? And that's why whenever we see a rainbow in the sky, sometimes then we can think about how God promised, gave all his promise never to flood the earth again. He always keeps his promises. So should we give, a, say a repeat after me prayer? Mm -hmm. Okay. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you. Thank you. For always keeping. For always keeping. Your promises. Your promises. Amen. Amen. 
Well, thanks girls and boys for joining us for this introduction to Noah's Ark, and we're gonna continue Noah's Ark for the next two Sundays. And um, now Mr. M is gonna sing a song with us. So thanks for helping me, Charlie. Bye girls and boys, see you next week. Hi kids, Adam LaFever Hughes here. We're gonna sing some songs. We got a lot of rain this week, and it got me thinking a little bit about Noah and the flood and building an ark. So we're gonna sing a song about how Noah built the ark. And it kind of goes like this. The Lord told Noah there's gonna be a floody, floody Lord told Noah there's gonna be a floody, floody Get those animals out of the muddy, muddy children of the Lord. Do you know this one? Now you do. Here we go.